We're going to turn it up on Tuesday, as Proverbs 20, verse 29 and 30. The glory of young men is in their strength, and the splendor of old men is gray hair. Blows that wounds scour away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. And that's exactly what we're going to do today, because we're going to turn it up on Tuesday, folks. We've got ten rounds planned for you today. Shadow boxing, kickboxing. Um, every week we suggest that you cut your rest time down and try to get down to a 15 second rest. Start your first two weeks off with two minute rounds and then you're gonna add a 30 second freestyle round of interval in each round to make it a three minute round. If you have questions, you can DM us right here on Instagram or you can email info at huffboxing.com with any questions and we'll get back to you personally. explain how to get into your orthodox stance. All right, just start That's off. Let's one of the trainers here at Huff Gym. So we start off shoulder width apart, and then just bring that left foot forward, fix your toes a little bit. What do you mean by fix your toes a little bit? Just uh, tuck them a little more to the angle. Nice, make sure your weight is centered. Uh -huh. And bend those knees, people. Yeah, let's bend our knees right on. So we're gonna start the first round, hands up in the guard position. Where should our elbow be, love? Close to your chest, rib area, awesome. We have Tamara with us here too. When we're doing our jab, we're gonna twist those knuckles in. If you have a mirror at home, it's best to stand in front of a mirror. Shrug the shoulders up slightly to protect yourself and bring it right back. And then you're gonna throw a double jab. When you hear the bell ring, you're gonna twist in with the right cross and then twist back. So we're gonna jab, double jab, and then when we hear the bell ring, we're gonna cross and bring it back to your chin again. Cross and bring it back to your chin again. We're gonna do a two minute round. So we're gonna have a 30 second interval of jabs and then a 30 second interval of crosses. And then we're gonna repeat it. Sound good? Right on. I mean, you could if you want to, but not today. Good, now let's cross with the right hand. Twist in and pull back. Twist, twist. Twist, twist. And pull the shoulder right back. That's it. That's it, pull it right back. Elbow comes in nice and tight. Good, making sure when you're doing it at home that you're not punching across your body, but you're punching right in front. Yeah, and twist the hips and shoulders. Twist, 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 twist. Twist. My niece love Jeremy here. Pull it right back. Try not to move it out too long. Good. Back to that jab. Jab. Double jab. Jab. Double jab. Keep the elbows nice and tight. Good. Twist. That's it. Jab. Jab. Double jab. I almost said dab. <laughs> you cut that out, right? <laughs> Voice over. Jab. Jab, jab, good stuff. Good balance. And back to that cross. Twist. Twist, twist. Pull it back. Twist, twist. Yeah. Hips and waist give you the, the power in the punch. Twist and twist back. Twist. 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 Use your whole body. You don't always have to use your whole body. I mean, sometimes you can just throw a nice light right hand. Arm punch, you call it. Nice fast shot. I'm all about the power though. Can't help myself. <laughs> Especially with the right hand, right? Like, who doesn't love to do that? That's time. All right, left foot forward again. We're gonna add the slip in there. So you have jab, slip, jab, jab. Jab, slip, jab, jab. Jab, slip. Jab, jab, 
jab, slip, jab, jab, that's it. Slip, jab, jab. Making sure that you're not slipping like this, all right, folks? Drop that shoulder down a little bit, hands are up. It, no bushwhacking. Keep those hands up nice and high. <laughs> You gotta keep your hands up. Right up. Keep the elbow in nice and tight. Good. Let's, uh, so when you're looking at your footwork, try and draw an imaginary line between your feet. So, well, put there, you on each line. I mean, put on the opposite your heel side. on this line for me. Your heel. Push your That's better. Yeah. Does that feel better, worse, and different? Indifferent? It doesn't matter. Does it feel different? Does it feel different? A little different, better? Oh, that's good. Good, let's roll this shoulder forward. So from here, up there. There you go. Yeah, so you, you don't want to do this at home. Sideways here, you want to drop the shoulder forward, and then back up. We're going to cross roll. So right hand, and roll under. Underneath. Good. Again, make sure you don't punch across your body. Punch right in front of your face. With the right hand. Right hand. Right hand, the other right hand. And then roll down that way. That's it, right I'll hand. Hold back for push. Try to drop straight Stand down. Up. And then roll to the Straight down and then roll to the Back to that jab. Jab, slip, double jab. So what do you want to look for most when you're rolling? When you're rolling, you want to keep your weight center. You want to keep your weight center and you want to keep your head up. You do not want to roll with your lower back. Which means you have to bend your legs. Oh. Nice good form up and down on the roll and time. So we're gonna go southpaw for our next two rounds and Tamara is gonna tell us exactly what that is. Southpaw is pretty much the same thing as orthodox except it's your right foot at the front. So we're switching our stance. Right foot forward folks, you can follow Tamara at Tamara underscore Della underscore Cruz. Right on. All right, right foot forward, let's go. Jab, double jab, 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 jab. That's it, nice. Make sure you're breathing when you're jabbing. Try and relax your face. Then you'll love. Get that shoulder up for extra protection. I can't help myself. I just, you know, I gotta Get in it. it. <laughs> Turn it up. You gotta get it. Turn it up too, Dave. That's right. Why not? Good, let's cross and back. Twist, twist. Get that elbow first thing back in. That's it. Twist that hip, bro. Good. Try not to open up your right guard when you're twisting. So when you're coming with the cross, you want to open this up here. Nice and tight. Yeah. That's a tattoo. That's a There you go. That's it. Twist, twist. Going back to the jab on the bell. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. As the weeks come ahead, you folks can add some footwork on the jab. You just step in and then step back to take it to the next level. That's it. But for this week, we'll just keep it nice and easy. Working on the spot. Give you something to work for in the next coming weeks. Turning it up every Tuesday on Turn It Up Tuesday. Cross, twist, twist. Punch. Twist, twist, that's it. Try to punch across your body right in front of you. Good, watch that stance low. Put that imaginary line between your feet there. There you go, a little wider. There you go, how's that feel? Good. Better is important. You never want to do something and it feels worse. Right thing. Yes. And time.
jab, slip, jab, jab. Just do the slip right now. Slip, slip. Now, we started to turn it up Tuesday without a warm up because we already warmed up. We're just filming stuff. It's a filming day today. Recommend you warm up before you start this workout for sure. It's very important to stretch, get the blood flowing, make sure you drink your water, and then start the shadow boxing. Back to the cross hold. Cross and under. Punch. Hit. Punch. Hold. Cross. So if you need to take it to the next level next week or the week after, you can step in with the cross and then step back. Slip, slip, come on, hook, 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 
slip, slip, hook, hook, hook. Make sure your other hand's in your guard as you're hooking. Hook, hook, bring your other hand up, Esther. Slip, slip, hook, hook, hook. If you have any kind of knee problems, you can do this simply standing here with a slight bend in the knee. But if you want to take it to the next level, drop down, good. Back to that left side kick. with the heel, straight with the heel of the foot. Nice time. rhythms with you guys for the two minutes and you can incorporate it however you like. I might even get a little fancy, I don't know. Uh, with that being said, what you want to do is try and increase from one round of skipping eventually. In the next week, make it two rounds of skipping. The week after that, three and then four. Increasing the rounds of your workout on Turn It Up Tuesdays. Ready to start the round off? So we're just going to start the first 15 seconds nice and easy. Just get a 
a good rhythm going. I don't know about this. It's been a while since I skipped. Ladies that have children, you'll know why. Put it off for a little while, you know? Just get a nice good rhythm with your rope. Some music would be helpful right now. I put my heels forward. An alley shuffle. You go in and out. Switch your stance. Oh! If you mess up, you want to keep jumping. Crisscross, little twist. And then open up again. Alternate knees up. What? 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 Do one leg for a whole 15 seconds if you want. But if you do mess up, you keep on moving. Sometimes you can just shadow box a little bit. Get that rope going again. I don't know, I'm gonna try crisscross. I don't know about this face. <laughs> Name that tune. Yeah, call it below. You know that tune? It's a good tune. Since I skipped. No. The Johnson brothers, they were awesome skippers. Craig Johnson. Yeah, man. Woo! Is this two minutes almost done? Anybody got a timer on? One double, no good. Let's try and get this. I keep reading. top position here and then when you come down we're not going to roll the head all the way back because we don't want the lower back to come off of the mat here and back up again good I recommend putting the elbows in and try to reach them to the center here yeah eventually getting up further and further get that timer on for us do me to go all the way up if you can so depending on what level you're at you'll come up either two inches or you'll come all the way up to a full sit-up position elbows to thighs right to there and then back down again no matter what level you're at you want to make sure you're never rolling your head all the way back. That puts a little bit of strain on the lower back and we don't want to do that. Thank you, breathing. Exhale and inhale. Good, good. Don't come too high up, just the contracted position right there. Yeah, feel the difference? Yeah, so it's important not to roll up through when you get to the top, right to that contracted position. Good, we're gonna reach feet up in the air and we're gonna reach for our toes. Up and try and hold for three, Two, one, down, up, nice and controlled. Hold, three, two, one. I'm all about form and technique more than about how many you can do in 30 seconds. I think it's really important. The longer you hold the contracted position, the more you're working around those muscles. Try and contract the lower abs as well. Good, if you need to make it a little bit harder for yourself, you can bring your legs down and come right up to a jackknife position for the hips right off the floor. That's the next level up. Yeah. And then back to the crunches again for 30 seconds. Holding at the top. Oh yeah, let's try and keep those feet down. You can always hook your feet underneath your sofa if you like. Toes on the floor. That's it. Making sure you're breathing. Good form. And you wanted a spray bottle. Not required. Feet up. <laughs> and let's reach up and touch the toes. Hold. Hold. Good, down, don't hold your breath. Breathe out and hold. Hold, down, and up, and hold. Hold, 
eventually trying to get your shoulders right up to that jackknife position. Oh yeah, it gets harder as those two, there you go, as those two minutes go on, you start off to use a little more momentum sometimes. Yeah, we used to do back in the day, Andrew would have us do these full Vs, so you start in the open position, and then come all the way up in between, and those are tough. Thanks, oh, Tamara, that was awesome. So repeat that for a round. Again, you can incorporate any type of sit-ups for your last two rounds. Thanks for turning it up Tuesday. Make sure you do a cool down and a stretch out when you're finished and drink your water.